Welcome to AI Factory. Step into a world where history comes to life like never before. Before the advent of artificial intelligence, creators had to laboriously craft historical content, but now, with cutting-edge tools, the past can be effortlessly recreated. By exploring the videos on these channels, you'll see that creating them isn't as challenging as it may seem. However, to achieve exponential growth in viewers, mastering specific skills is crucial. Today, we'll learn together how to craft efficient and popular shorts of this kind. If you enjoy it, remember to like and subscribe. Let's get started. I'll present two methods for creating this type of video. Both involve using ChatGPT, Leonardo.ai, Leapix AI, and CapCut, but the second method also requires NVIDIA AI. They are all free AI-powered tools. Method 1. First, open ChatGPT and provide personas to it. You are a shorts videographer and producer. Your video is to show historical stories for everyone and use thrilling storylines and images to attract viewers. Please write an interesting medieval historical story as a video outline. It quickly generated an outline for me including a title, opening, voiceover, scenes, and ending. Very good. Then I ask, please give me a list of text prompts I could use in Leonardo.ai to generate the visuals for each scene. Now, I have all the text prompts. Ready to open Leonardo.ai, AI free drawing tool to generate the images. Click create an account, then directly register with a Google or other email account. This will bring you to Leonardo's homepage. On the screen, we can see artwork created by other users. On the homepage, you will find image generation on the left panel and click on it. Leonardo will give you 150 tokens for free daily. It will be calculated based on the tokens you use for each image. The next day it will be replaced again. I select two images with a 916 ratio. Then I copy the text prompt of the first scene and paste it into the text box. Wait a bit. Both images turn out quite well. Let's try the next text prompt, copy and paste it and so on. Try to regenerate it if you are not satisfied with the images. Download all. To get better images, I added a little more detail to my description. Here, I speed up my image regeneration. Now look at the generated results. This shows that the more detailed the prompts given are, the more delicate the generated images will be. Then, this time we need to generate the voice. We go to the free voice generation tool 11 Labs. If you're a beginner and haven't used it before, just register with your email. Copy the story from ChatGPT. Paste the story into the text box, delete the details of each scene, and retain the text of the title and voiceover. Let's listen to the voice options below. We're looking for an attentive male voice with a hint of mystery. Allow the world to live as it chooses. Logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. I prefer Adam's voice. Next, click on Generate and then download it. Now that we have the voice and all the images, the next step is to edit the video. Let's open CapCut, a free and powerful video editing tool. You can download it or use it online. I'll include all the links to the free tools in the description below. You can find them there. Open CapCut, import the audio and drag the audio into the bottom panel. Import all images. In the empty spaces of the audio, select split, then delete the empty space. Choose delete left or delete right to remove as many empty spaces in the audio as possible to keep the video engaging. I'll speed up this part. Drag all the images into the bottom panel and adjust the order of the images according to the audio to make each image logically consistent with the story. Alright, this time, I don't want the flat images to just appear one after the other, I want each one to be animated. So, I'll use Leapix AI to transform the 2D images into captivating 3D animations. To get started, open Leapix AI, click on Try for Free, and register with your email account. 
It's user-friendly and capable of generating impressive depth of field animations. Once we're on the Leia Pix page, upload an image, adjust the animation parameters on the right, and preview the effect. There are many settings you can choose from, including animation style, amount of motion, animation length, focus point, edge dilation, and depth map. You'll need to take some time to explore them. After finishing the animation settings, click Export to save the file directly. I'll need to repeat this process for the rest of the images. Now, I've placed the first animated video on the editing panel arranged in the order of my previous images. It's a bit lengthy, so I need to trim it. While you can see its animation effect, have you noticed the LeiaPix logo on the lower right side? I'll need to remove it. Alternatively, I could enlarge the video to obscure the LeiaPix logo, but this may result in some loss of video content. Depending on your preference, you can remove the watermark or enlarge the video. In this case, I'll opt to remove the watermark using Online Video Cutter. Let's visit its website, upload the video, select Remove Logo, frame the Leia Pix logo with a box, click on Preview, and then download the edited video. Repeat this process for the rest of the animated videos. Then, import these animated videos into CapCut and arrange them according to the order and length of the second layer images. Change the speed and trim them as needed. We don't need the second image layer now, so turn it off. To ensure your animated video looks clear and sharp, go to Filters, apply the clear filter, add Adjustment, change the saturation to 5 and set Vignette to 17. Next, add appropriate animation effects to each video and adjust the duration based on the length of the video. and select interesting transitions between them. Choose transitions in the menu and select the transition effect you prefer. Then, to add subtitles, select Text and Auto Caption from the menu and click Create. CapCut will automatically generate subtitles based on your audio. Selecting the appropriate font and size. CapCut is incredibly powerful. To make your videos visually rich and engaging, consider adding additional effects such as sound effects, music, and more animations. Experiment with different effects for different scenes. For instance, use the black fog effect for scenes about a missing princess. fire effects with sword sound effects for fighting scenes. Feel free to explore various effects and determine which ones work best for you. Finally, add suitable background music. Here, I'm searching directly for battle music.
Listen to different options and choose one that's tense and exciting. Shadows of the Sword, The Lost Princess. In the heart of the Medi- Lower the volume of the music and trim it. Apply a fade-out effect to make the transition more natural for the background. Search for a sword fighting sound effect and add it to the fighting scenes, adjusting the volume accordingly. Save the princess and restore peace to the kingdom, and so... Once the video editing process is complete, let's take a look at the final result. Shadows of the Sword, The Lost Princess. In the heart of the medieval kingdom of Valoria, where shadows dance in the flickering light of torches, lies a tale of mystery, betrayal, and redemption. Princess Elara, beloved by her people, vanishes into thin air, plunging the kingdom into turmoil. Sir Tristan's quest leads him to dark forests, where whispers of ancient curses echo among the trees. In a clash of steel and sorcery, Sir Tristan faces his greatest challenge yet, determined to save the princess and restore peace to the kingdom. And so, against all odds, love and courage triumph over darkness, and the kingdom of Valoria finds hope once more. Nice. Okay. Now, I'll introduce another method to create a history video. Method 2. This requires using nvidio.ai, which is simpler to use. Register with your email account and enter the interface. In the text box, provide a prompt word, keywords, story title, or an outline of your existing story. However, I want to create a YouTube Shorts video. Since I already have the outline of the story, I copy and paste it directly from ChatGPT. In the settings, choose a male, clear American voice, add word-by-word -word subtitles, and don't use ISTA. Then click on Continue. It will analyze the content of the story first and then prepare it. This process takes a few seconds. Some options appear here. I'll keep the default settings and click on Continue. Now, it starts processing to generate the video, so we need to wait for a while. It's done. Let's take a look. Venture into the heart of the medieval kingdom of Valoria, where torchlit shadows tell tales of mystery, betrayal, and redemption. The spirited Princess Elara, beloved by her people, vanishes into thin air, sending the kingdom spiraling into chaos. Enter Sir Tristan, the gallant knight sworn to find the missing princess and restore peace. His quest leads him through dark forests, echoing with whispers of ancient curses. In a hidden chamber beneath the castle, a shocking truth is revealed. A malevolent sorcerer seeking the throne has captured Princess Alara. In a clash of steel and sorcery, Sir Tristan faces his most formidable challenge yet. But against all odds, love and courage triumph over darkness, and Valoria finds hope once again. Shadows of the Sword, the Lost Princess, a tale of bravery, love, and the power of hope. It's pretty good with images, text, and music. Next, I want to modify some pictures. Click on Edit to return the editing window. Every time I click on an image, the corresponding text will be displayed. Here are the pictures or videos that NVIDIA.AI generated for us. Some of them are watermarked. That's why I chose Don't Use This Stock when we entered earlier to try to avoid using images and videos with watermarks as much as possible. At this point, we can upload the corresponding images which were generated by Leonardo.ai before or the animated videos processed with Leapix AI. I choose the images generated by Leonardo.ai and replace them one by one. If there aren't enough pictures to match the text, some pictures can be repeated and you can adjust them as needed. After placing the picture, click Apply Changes and you can preview the video. Venture into the heart of the medieval kingdom of Valoria, where if you feel that something needs to be modified, you can click Edit to go back and modify it. I think my video is ready for export, so I click Export. In this window, set stock watermarks to normal and 1080p because we only have a free account. Click Continue and finally you can download it. Let's take a look at the effect. 
venture into the heart of the medieval kingdom of Valoria, where torchlit shadows tell tales of mystery, betrayal, and redemption. The spirited Princess Elara, beloved by her people, vanishes into thin air, sending the kingdom spiraling into chaos. Enter Sir Tristan the gallant knight sworn to find the missing princess and restore peace. His quest leads him through dark forests, echoing with whispers of ancient curses. In a hidden chamber beneath the castle, a shocking truth is revealed. A malevolent sorcerer seeking the throne has captured Princess Alara. In a clash of steel and sorcery Sir Tristan faces his most formidable challenge yet, but against all odds love and courage triumph over darkness, and Valoria finds hope once again. Shadows of the Sword, The Lost Princess, a tale of bravery, love, and the power of hope. You will notice that the video generated by NVIDIA.AI has a watermark. You can remove the watermark using the online video cutter that I mentioned before or you can enlarge the video. Both methods are effective for editing videos but NVIDIA.AI is particularly well suited for beginners. You can try either one if you're interested. That concludes today's video. Thank you everyone for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share this channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below the video.